Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. Sea Ray is one of the most popular boat brands in the United States. You'd be hard pressed to go to a marina and not find a bunch of them lying around. The boat behind me is what I would consider the mother of all Sea Rays. This is a Sea Ray L650. It's presented by Off The Hook Yacht Sales and we're gonna do a full tour of it today. This was the largest boat in the L series luxury line that Sea Ray discontinued in 2018. So they're becoming more and more rare to find one on the market, especially in this excellent of condition. We're gonna take you through a full tour today, including the crew quarters and the engine room. We're gonna make our way right into the cockpit from this side access door. You have this incredibly large seating section here and you have a nice teak table. This info cushion here can be removed so you can walk around the boat completely on either side. And underneath these cushions, you have storage for some safety equipment. The covers are also stored underneath these cushions. Above you have a sunshade that will extend from the roof of the cockpit. Over on the starboard side, you have this really nice mini bar area. You have a sink. You have this pull out grill. And you also have a refrigerator down here. You also have a bit of trash storage. Let's make our way into the salon. You have these glass doors that slide all the way across and opens up the area really well. Let's slip our shoes off here and make our way into the main salon. You have this lovely L-shaped seating area here and another seating area on the port side. Here's your mounted flat screen TV with the sound bar. And here are the controls for all the AV equipment You have really large windows flanking either side, brings in plenty of natural light when the shades are up. This controls the sunshade I was talking about that will extend it out electronically. That's also a camera that you can see at the helm. In here is your electric panels. This boat has two Seakeeper stabilization systems. This is the DC distribution panel and then your main distribution panel for your 240 and 120 volt systems. Let's make our way forward into the dining and galley area. You have some really nice bar seats here and I like the lighting detail underneath this bar design. The stereo system has really nice surround sound speakers throughout. Here is your dining area. These can be moved over here to add more seating. You have this really nice high gloss table. Here is the galley on the port side. You have a three burner electric cooktop. You have two large drawer fridges and these also have freezers underneath. You also have a built in wine fridge right here. It's a very nice touch. You have a large double sink. And here is your convection microwave and grill. This boat makes really good use of the space here. You have a built-in storage system here. You just flip this switch. This will rise up and you have all of your custom glassware and cutlery drawers. Take a look inside here, you'll see the glassware. And these are the Sea Ray labeled glassware. It's a nice touch. Let's check out the helm now. 
you have these dual stead seats. These stead chairs are on telescopic legs, so they can be lowered or raised. And here is your helm station. You have a joystick control. This controls the bow and stern thrusters along with the propellers. This lets you maneuver the boat in any direction you please. You can twist left and right, forward, back. This controls the Raymarine screens if you don't want to reach forward. You have your throttle controls, of course, your trim tabs, some other switches for the boat, your VHF radio, your Sea Ray steering wheel. You have autopilot on this boat. And then here are your twin Raymarine screens. You have AC vents blowing right onto the captain, which is nice. A compass. And then here are some indicators for your cat engines. Standing up at the helm area, you have a really good view straight ahead. One other thing to mention, it's integrated into the Raymarine screens, but you do have a FLIR infrared camera system. And then of course, those backup cameras, like I mentioned, you can view those from these screens. Another nice feature on this boat, you have this large skylight up here. There is a shade that comes across if you want to block the sun. It's currently back. And then with the press of a button, we can open this whole area up. That button is right here, labeled skylight. And as you can see, this will electronically move backwards, opening up the space. Let's close that back up. Overall, I really like this salon space. It flows extremely well. One other thing to note is you do have a side access door here on the starboard side, which is always a nice feature when you want to easily get to the bow. Now we're going to go check out all of these staterooms. This boat actually has four different cabins. It's very impressive for a boat this size. You have a little atrium area here. The windshields are right above, so you have a lot of natural light pouring in. And we're going to start with the forward VIP cabin. You have a queen bed in here. You have a skylight above. Of course, there's a shade that will go across that. And you can also egress out of this area if needed. That hatch will open up. You have some nice storage underneath the bed here. Over here, you have a cedar lined hanging locker. Small bits of storage up in places like that. You have another hanging locker over here. This is also the controls for your mounted TV and Bose soundbar, which is right here. You have your own separate AC controls for in this room. And here is the ensuite for the VIP cabin. You have really nice finishes in here. And a separate shower stall. Really like the lights integrated into the mirror. It looks very nice. Let's make our way forward to the master cabin now which is right back here. Of course, it is the full beam of the boat. You have another queen bed. You have really great storage options on either side here. And you also have some lovely windows that take up almost all of the wall space. So you get plenty of natural light in here. In here, you actually get an integrated dressing table. but you can also tuck it away when you don't need it. You also get a fridge in the master cabin, so that's a nice touch. You have some more storage underneath the bed here, as well as some really nice track lighting underneath the bed. 
and in the ceiling. You have two large closets in this master cabin. Plenty of hanging and storage space. And to my left is the ensuite. Once again, really nice finishes in here. You have a double sink, your toilet, of course, and you walk up to this shower stall. Rainfall shower, the small bench seat there. One small thing I notice, and it's always a nice touch, is it's always nice when the ensuite for the master is behind the bed. Right behind this wall is where the engine room starts. So it's always nice to have this little extra space to buffer out that noise for the master cabin. You have a TV and another really nice Bose sound bar mounted here and more storage on this side. Let's check out the last couple cabins. Before we get there really quick, you have both a washing machine and a dryer. So that's a nice touch. And here are cabins number three. You have two single beds, small TV mounted still, and a hanging locker. One thing I noticed is you do get full headroom in this cabin and a couple large windows. And it's the exact same on the other side, your hanging locker, and then the two single beds. Both of these do not have ensuite access, but they do share the day head, which is located right here. Very similar to the other heads in this boat, similar finishes, So now that we've seen all of the cabins, let's check out the outside spaces. One thing to point out on this side, you have another set of joystick controls. So you can see right up to the front of the boat, makes it very easy when you're docking. You have handrails here and then also up above. So you always feel very secure when you're walking up to the front. This boat has a great profile. Here's that hatch in the VIP cabin. Here's your chain locker. You also have a fresh water wash down. You have a great sun pad area here. These backrests can lift up so you have a different line angle. You also have this lovely seating area. This table can be removed of course, but I think it works really well out here cup holders all over the place. And this is your Rockford Fosgate stereo system. So you have separate controls out here. Of course you have storage in places like this for your seat covers. And some fender or rope storage. Let's head back to the cockpit and check out the engine room. 
Naturally, the engine access is under this hatch. As you can see, you have tons of space here in this engine room. Here's your Cummins generator. Here are the two Seakeeper stabilization systems. You can see them on either side. Let's step forward towards these engines. This boat has a pair of CAT C18 Acert engines. These are 1150 horsepower each. So a total of 2300 horsepower. Your top speed on this boat is about 30 knots. Cruising speed around 25 with a range of 275 miles. Here are your fuel tanks on either side. Another camera into the engine room so you always have awareness of what's going on. Here's your fuel water filter system. And the fire suppression system. Very impressive engine room. Now this boat is straight shafts to the propellers. So you can see that shaft on either side. Let's get out of here and go check out the crew quarters. So back here is a hydraulic swim platform. You have these tracks here for your chalks for either a tender or a jet ski. It's a small storage compartment over here for ropes. And this hatch opens up for your crew quarters. Now on a boat this size, many people won't actually have crew. So if you don't have a crew on this boat, this just makes a great day head for when you're swimming, you can come right out of the water, go to the restroom here and you don't have to drip all through the boat. So that's always nice if you don't have a crew. There's AC in here. Another small hanging locker. Here's their sink. And then there are two small single beds in here. So technically, you could have two crew. You could sleep extra guests in here if you dislike them. And then there's also a small area for a table that can fit in here. I think most people will just use this space as storage. You can fit tons of water toys or whatever else you want in here. I think we will finish the tour up here at the bar. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Special thanks to Off The Hook Yacht Sales and specifically Greg Cohen for letting me do the tour. I will link this listing down in the description below if you want to see it in more detail. Until next time.